Hello my dear friend, you are welcome to my channel. Please, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I will urge you to subscribe and then click on the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime I upload a new video. And if you watch this video and it's useful to you, I will implore you to share with others so that they will also benefit from it. And please don't hesitate to share your thoughts after watching this video. All right, so in my last three videos titled Three phase four wire distribution system and load balancing. I promised that I'll be talking about load distribution in large scale residential installations in a subsequent video. All right, so in this particular video, I'm going to talk about load distribution in large scale installations where there are a large number of single phase loads that have to be supplied. And because of the amount of load or the amount of power requirement for the installation, you will have to bring in three phase four wire supply. In that video, I made it clear that there are reasons why you will need to supply your installation with three phase four wire. And I made it clear that there are two major reasons why you would need to do that. The first reason is when you have a wire that involves three-phase equipment. Three-phase equipment are equipment that will require three lines to work. That is one instance where you will need to supply that installation with three-phase or three-phase four wire. Then the other instance is where you have single-phase loops. All the loops you have are single-phase loops, but then you have a very large number of them. And so adding up their total consumption, you will have a very large amount of power requirement. And so in that case, you will also need to send in all the three phases, and then you will have to distribute the power appropriately to the various loads. Okay, and this is very important because sometimes, depending on the type of supply control equipment that you have used, you may end up wiring the system in a way that you will end up putting more loads on a particular phase or you will end up putting more loads on some two particular phases. So this video will help us to understand how we can do this distribution properly so that at least every phase will have approximately equal load in order to balance and stabilize the system. All right, so when we take a building like this, we have one big building with nine different apartments. And we are supposed to supply power to all these apartments in this building. Because there are a lot of apartments in this building, it is obvious that the amount of power that will be required in this building is very large. And so we can't dedicate only one phase to this building. Do all the equipment that will be used in all these apartments are single phase equipment. Because we have a large number of them, the power requirement is very high. And so we need to bring all the three phases so that we can share these loads on the three phases equally in order to balance and stabilize the system. And I also have to say that sometimes the load requirement may be too huge to be connected to the existing network. And so in that case, you would have to bring in a dedicated transformer for that particular building. All right. So here, the arrangement that you will do as an engineer or as a wiring professional most of the time will depend on the metering arrangement of this apartment. Okay, so in one instance, you may have one meter for all these apartments. And then on the other hand, or in the other instance, you may have all these apartments, each with its own meter. All right, now, whether to give each apartment its own separate meter, or to use one meter for the whole building, this is something that you must be aware of 
before you design your installation because it is going to affect the design of the installation. Now, one thing that will also affect the design of the installation is how you are going to distribute the loads over the three phases. And you have to take the right decision from the onset to avoid any unnecessary cost and inconveniences. And that is why it is very important to have a design or a drawing before you start your project so that you can analyze it very well and make necessary adjustments before you begin the project or before you start the wiring. So analyzing this building critically, you realize that in this building, we have a total of nine apartments. We have one, two, three horizontally, and then we have one, two, three vertically. And so in this video, for good reasons, one face will be supplying one apartment at the top, one in the middle, and then one at the bottom. Then the second phase will also be supplying power to the apartments at the top, one at the middle, and then one at the bottom. Then here, one top, one middle, one bottom. All right. But in this video, the meter for each apartment will be placed at the apartment. They could also be arranged on one meter board at an appropriate location of the building. All right, so this is our meter here. These are consumer units that will supply this apartment. Then we have one meter here with a consumer unit that will also supply here. Then we have another apartment, another one, another one, another one, another one. All right, so for proper distribution of power, we first take line one to the meter here, and then this line one will also come to the meter here. And then we'll loop the same line one to the one here. Then we take the second line. The second line will also go to the first meter here. And it will come to the second meter. And it will come to the third meter. And then it terminates here. Then here, we bring the third line here, here, and then here. Okay, then neutral is common to all. So we take neutral. We can start from here. We loop here to here to here. And then it goes up to here to here, 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 and then there. All right, so you observe that though we have three phase and neutral supply to this building, because we don't have any load in the wiring that requires three phase supply to work, we are able to do without any three phase supply control equipment in this wiring. And this will go a long way to save cost. In case we are using one three phase meter for all these apartments, or in case there are some loads in this building that would need three-phase supply to work, then we would be bringing in the TPN isolators, the TPN consumer units or distribution board. All right, so in another video, I will be explaining a situation where we have some of the loads in the wiring that would need three-phase supply to work. And in that case, we need to bring in the three-phase meter, the three-phase isolator, the three-phase consumer unit, and some other three-phase supply control equipment. All right, so expect that in another video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Kindly leave your comments at the comment section. It can be a suggestion. It can be an input. It can be a question. Share, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video.